it's a series that I'm very proud and uh, honored to have been in. There's a lot of great storytelling in this in this show. It's not only indigenous cast and some crew, also ASL Lockwa Cox. You know, it op- it's just opens a world, a door to a world that uh, I think audiences are going to really be intrigued by and be satisfied they bought the ticket and took the ride. Like Chaska was saying, we wanted to do justice to to that community and also to really communicate with all of the actors on set, with Alakwa, with a lot of the deaf crew members. Um, I think that was really important. And so we, we took lessons. And I know at the end of each day, though, my brain would just be so tired because I felt like my neural pathways <laughs> forming all these new, like, l- <laughs> this new language. It was, uh, it was... Definitely a challenge, but um, it was one we were all really excited to take on. Hey guys, how are you doing? Good. Hey, good. How are you? I am doing so, so well. Uh, I just want to say congratulations on this series. Having seen the first three episodes, I love how different this is from anything I think we've seen in the MCU before. Um, but also having finished the third episode, I'm like, damn, I really want to go to a roller skating rink. <laughs> um, so I need to know first and foremost, how great are your roller skating skills, and what's what's your go-to song Oof. to hit the ring to? I, I, my roller skating skills are non-existent. I would love to, in my mind, I would love to say that Bonnie is part of like the roller derby league in <laughs> that community in Tamaha, um, and that she would listen to anything by Shania Twain. But love it. Um, I, in real life, I can't skate. Save my life. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points for choosing a Canadian artist. That's <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm horrible at it. It took me a while to actually be able to just even move. But uh, I started getting a little okay on it. I think my rotor, roller skating rink song is, uh, what's that, Rock Steady? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 that old 1980s. Yeah, that's, I think that's my go-to. <laughs> I love it. Now, I, I have to ask both of you as well, too, because, you know, you're, you're joining the MCU. Chasky, you're no stranger to the world of Marvel. You were obviously Jessica Jones, and, and you were... Um, part of the Wolverine podcast as well, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what does it mean for you now to be joining this grand Marvel Cinematic Universe? Oh, it's very special. You know, it's it's a series that I'm very proud to and uh, honored to have been in. It's, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, um, there's a lot of great storytelling in this, in this show. It's not only indigenous cast and some crew, also ASL Lockwood Cox. You know, it op- it's just opens a world, a door to a world that uh, I think audiences are going to really be intrigued by and be satisfied they bought the ticket and took the ride. Definitely. You know, Devery, for yourself, obviously, uh, would love you in um, Reservation Dogs, and Taika Waititi was a, was a big uh, fa- factor behind that show. Did you reach him at all when you were joining the MCU for advice? I didn't actually reach out to Taika when joining the MCU, but I did have many conversations with Sydney Freeland, who I had a chance to work with on uh, both Rutherford Falls yeah. and Reservation Dogs. And Sydney, be- because like we're sworn to secrecy, we like the scripts are under lock and key when you're auditioning. So and there's like fabricated sides. So I was like, how am I supposed <laughs> to know if I like this character, or if I like this world? And getting to hear uh, from Sydney was really was really reassuring, but also exciting because. I knew that it would be an incredible series if she was if she was at the helm of it. Yeah, and and, and it is, and I think something that I you know mentioned at the top of the discussion was that you know it really is something that we haven't seen before, and I think the inclusion of the ASL throughout this series is is so incredible to see that for representation. How was the training like for you guys? Did you have a background in that at all, or was it something that you were learning? for the series. I didn't have a background, is, is what I learned for the series, and they had Doug Ridloff there to help uh, coach us and, and give us uh, lessons. And they did a very thorough job, and we all wanted to, we were excited about the project, we wanted to do a good job for, for to help with that community. And at, at first it was challenging, but you start to find a flow, and uh, like I said, I looked at it as a dancer, and I just had to like try to find the beats with my voice. Uh, I learned that uh, I talk faster than I move my hands, and so. <laughs> I had to keep that down a bit. I also didn't know ASL before. It was a language I've always wanted to learn. Um, and I'm still I'm still taking lessons, even though the show's wrapped and, and I want to continue that journey. Uh, I think it's a really it's I think it's a really powerful language. And uh, we like Chaska was saying, we wanted to do justice to to that community and also to really communicate with all of the actors on set with Alakwa, with a lot of the deaf crew members. Um, 
I think that was really important. And so we, we took lessons. And I know at the end of each day, though, like there, it's one thing to take a class in ASL, but then it's another thing to be surrounded by a lot of deaf folks and interpreters all day and, and like exclusively trying to communicate mm-hmm. in ASL. Um, that like at the end of the day, my brain would just be so tired because I felt like my neural <laughs> pathways forming all these new like l- l- this new language. It was uh, it was definitely a challenge but um it was one we were all really excited to take on i love that and i just want to say thank you both so much again for your time you guys are both so great in this series i cannot wait to see where it goes and uh Chassie, just as we wrap up just want to say sam twilight forever on your <laughs> <laughs> thank you man thank sam, you sam. <laughs> take awesome care. Thank take you. care man